Oh, good. I'm glad you had good chats with Pi. That helps. I've literally, yeah, like, it feels like I'm half asleep all the time. So, like, I'm not gonna take my sleeping meds tonight. Well, I probably will, but just less of them. Oh, I feel so bad. It's just been, yeah, we've been sleeping. If we were awake earlier, we planned to, like, not go to sleep. We planned to stream way early today, but we just, like, got up and did something, felt sick, and then we were like, oh, fuck, gotta lie down. Lie down, fell asleep two hours later. Poor pie. Just missed it. Not so much any more pain. I mean, like, I pulled my knee. But, um, not so much any more pain with that. Just, like, really tired and weak. And, like, when you stand up, it's like gravity is, like, increased and pressing down on you, kind of, like. But that... I don't know what that's from. That could be anything. That's come and goes. Like, I've had it before. The body's just crazy, you know, like it just wants, probably just wants some attention. Okaje? This one's probably better. Oh no, it's not. Maybe in the window so I can see the chat a bit better. Yeah, better for the most part. That's probably a good way to sum it up. Thanks, Sally Fickton. <sighs> it's just drowsy. I'm sure once I've started work and forced myself back into a routine, we'll get back to normal eventually. Or spontaneously combust. Either way, it'll be exciting. I feel like that needs to go up, but we've got a lot of gold right now. Uh. Oh, Miss Goosey. Um, well that was all our gold. Pretty much. We have the orbor. The orbor. Orb. The orbor. Look, two bosses done. One and two. Still got three to go though. <laughs> oh, Bill. Oh. You could tell me it's how you pronounce it anyway at this point, and I'd just be like, totally. I want to sip on my coffee, but it's like over there. I don't know if I could reach it. And I'm s I didn't want to admit this, but I may or may not be wearing pants. <laughs> it's fine, we're here, we're streaming. How's that dude not getting hit? <laughs> it's not sexy, it's just lazy. <laughs> I got a real long shirt on and like jocks on. I might even have boy jocks on. Yeah, I totally do have boy jocks. Jocks? Don't you call, like, so, like, guys wear jocks or boxes 
Oh, you call them briefs. Jocks are briefs. You know, like your jock strap. <laughs> so, like, I'm wearing boy briefs. So, like, they're kind of like shorts, but not. Like tiny, tiny shorts. <laughs> kind of. Yeah, that's what you call them. You call them briefs. So we call them jocks, apparently. Oft, come on, after the jocks and everything. <laughs> Plus like, you know tall tees, how they go down like almost like halfway to your knee. I'm gonna, like, I got a tall tee on cause it's really hot. It's storming, but it's hot. So like, what the hell? I don't, I don't even care about that coin right now. Maybe I don't care about this room though. But yeah. I did have pants on earlier. Um, oh, that's right. I walked Puka over to the shop and when we got back, it was so hot that like, just pants had to go. And then we vacuumed. <laughs> and I was like thinking, hmm, like the curtains are closed, but at the same time, the kitchen has one of those like uh, gaps. It has the, cur the cafe curtain and the gap, like the frill at the top. So like, if there really was like a peeping Tom, which is what we call like someone who'd be like looking in to the window, they might have seen like a bit of upper thigh. But like, lucky them if they did. <laughs> Unless they started OnlyFans for it, <laughs> like a fake OnlyFans. <laughs> Emo pixie from the street edge from through the window. <laughs> yeah, no, nah, I very much doubt it. Like I, I um, I didn't spend long in the kitchen anyway. It was a very quick vacuum. But I was like, gotta get that cat hair. And you know how it is. Especially when it's been a really hot day and like you're the only one home and the pants are off and you're like, oh, they they ain't going back on. No, no, sir. It's the same with bras if we ever wear them. I'm like, that's the one thing I'm not sure about. It's like, uh, I'm excited to start a new job, but it means that we have to wear a bra. Although, maybe I could just say it's against my religion. Heaps of people don't wear bras, right? Exactly. Which you will be, eventually. Oh, dang. They're just so sweaty. And like, constricting. Yeah, publicly, damn. I thought that that was like, oh, you know, heaps of like, people do it, especially like slutty girls, right? Girls with fake titties. Like, if I had fake titties, as if I'd even want to wear a bra. That is my problem. Because if I'm tattooing someone and they realize I'm not wearing a bra, then that, then it gets... Yeah, it makes me sad. It makes me real sad. It's like, why should I have to wear this stupid thing? What, because men become uncomfortable if we don't? Or too excited if we don't? Ah, <laughs> oh, it's so silly. And don't even get me started about tampons. <laughs> too excited, yeah. It's like, 
And I struggle with that shit like the Uber driver recently as well as it is. So it's like, I'm not a piece of meat. But at the same time, I want to be comfortable and feel free. Live my life, live my best life the way I want to live it comfortably. But no. Stupid penises. <laughs> oh my god, bad hey. Like, it's almost put me off Ubers. But at the same time, it's like, no, fuck you. I'm just gonna still take Ubers. And if it fucking happens again, I'm gonna deck them. <laughs> it's like slowly turning into the real life Harley Quinn. Like, the more shit that happens to us. Or Jinx, actually. Starts out nice and, like, um, innocent, like powder. Oh, that's okay. I mean, assuming you only have the one, yeah, like, that's only one apology. And, like, I think it depends on what the penis is doing, you know? Like, I think it's, it's how forward-thinking the penis is. And how, like, respectful towards women. It's like, you get it. But, like, if I spoke... Oh, my God. If I spoke to half the dudes around this, the town here, especially the ones from rural Queensland, oh, my God. Like, if, like, from properties, like, in the middle of nowhere, they would have no fucking clue what I was on about. So those those penises probably have more apologizing to do, you know? Like educate your penis. <laughs> do we have coffee left? Yeah, we do. If I had a penis, I would educate it. I just want to have the same freedoms as boys. <laughs> like, you don't have to wear a bra. To cover your dick. Well, you kind of do. But, like... Not really. Like, you guys can walk around, like... Commando, and it's considered, like... That's cool, man. But then that's also a signal, which is probably why guys see no bra as a signal. It's so not a signal. We might just be sweaty. You know, like most chicks I know, the best part of their day is taking off their bra. Yeah. It is hard for girls. We have to stick stuff up our vagina to make sure we're not bleeding all over the place once a month. And restrict our chests. Free the nip, man. Hey, I should be part of that movement. I don't know what you do to be part of it, though. Maybe I'll get free the nip tattooed on my face. Bring the nip would be so tight, but like, how is that fair? Like, what if you guys are all walking around sexy? That's distracting. With your body parts. <laughs> I don't know. It's just life. The patriarchy. <laughs> I don't blame you, Leafy. That's kind of why, like, I don't know. Uh, maybe it's not why, but I've always felt like a tomboy. But it's like, I don't know, these days when you actually see the difference, it's like, why can't I just be a guy? That's not fair. <laughs> Straight white males. <laughs> Sorry. You guys are getting a bit of hate at the moment, aren't you? Um, I think...
something that is not true, guys, can be sexy. Like, they might have to try harder. Or maybe, like, not even try harder, but, like, be more charming. Instead of, like, trying to be sexy. Whereas girls can kind of get away with it in a stupid, weird world. That was my alarm. Oh, I should go back into the chat so I can read that. True, and then like... Exactly. I reckon you, it would because it, of what it looks like, but like you'd be able to fight it, but yeah. Oh. I don't know. That's a good question. Hmm. I don't want to do that one. Like, obviously, once you've had the mastectomy, a hundred percent. But if you had the like girl titties, I reckon they'd still ban you. Even if you put, like, he slash him in the title. Exactly. It's like, they're so, like, even girls like breasts. Like, I don't know. It's stupid. Like, I, I you're right. You think about him too much and it's very distracting. <laughs> I'm too distracted. <laughs> yes, go on. Three. Of course, I couldn't hit eight. So down, wait, across, down, across, across. I know what you mean. It's like, um, I guess, I guess it would depend on like filters, maybe. Like, do, is that how they pick up that kind of shit? Because they, they don't have someone going through every post it's there's got to be like a filter that flags it first right right helios bless I didn't know people try that. That seems silly to just get banned when you know you're gonna. Uh, oh yeah, people report shit like on Insta. I was just assuming we were past like that already and already up to like computers doing it for us. <laughs> Good times in my brain. This will be the darkness. Yep, and look at that bloob. And that is also the darkness. Oh, we got another room down here though. Oh, yeah. 
Well, I'm glad that my brain wasn't too far off. It's weird, hey. I mean, obviously nudity sells everything, so. Whoa. Where the hell is a teleporter for us right now? Wasn't the boss room down here? Hello boss room! Oh that'll do. Sometimes I wonder if I, like, you know, if I did naked clips and stuff, whether people would fucking listen to my music more. They probably would. Stupid word and algorithms. Because, like, at the same time, while it's, like, detecting the algorithm, detecting nudity and shit, it's still going to push close to nudity as popular because of the amount of fucking clicks and hits that shit gets. That sucks. Black. There might have been a time when I was comfortable with that, but I think that was before my blackout memories came through of being sexually abused as a child. So it's like, how does someone like me ever stand a chance? Like, with that kind of shit, when there's always gonna be someone flashing their titties. Maybe one day I will be comfortable with it again though, who knows. Oh, just with like getting my music out there and Cause like, it'd be nice to earn enough to um, improve the quality of my music recordings. Cause that's what's lacking. Like I don't have the gear, but that in itself is a good thing because it means that eventually I can buy the gear. So my stuff's gonna get better. It's just like, you compare like you can you can get a pretty good sound in a home studio, but like you spend thousands and thousands of dollars on a fucking professional mix on a song, like obviously it's gonna sound amazing. But it's okay, like I'm happy with what I write. I just want the quality to be a bit better. Oofed. I guess the whole standard chance of like getting heard, getting like, I don't know what would be satisfying, like even just maybe a, a few hundred. I guess I've got a few hundred views on some of my stuff on YouTube, but it's like, I don't know. It just feels like nobody listens to it. Which, like, will always be in the back of my head. As a musician, like, you kind of want people to listen to you, like, at least a little bit. Ah! Oh no! They're getting too hard for me, Leafy. I need my magic. Oh, thank you! Yeah. You really think, like, it, I think it's mostly the vocals that I'm hard on myself with. Yeah, exactly. Really, I should be, like, focusing my time on making music instead of streaming. But, like, that would isolate me so much more. So I want to be able to stream every day and then just do a little bit of music. Yeah, we'll get there. You're so encouraging. 
I'm so glad we've got this little like bam going on. It does help. Okay. We need some mana. Aww. Um, and like worst case scenario when we go back to work if we're not finding that there's like enough time in the day Dropping back to every second day would be the very least that we would want to stream but Streaming I think will be an important part of winding down from work Because otherwise We'll we won't be able to get our mind off work all night. So it'll be like come home stream um, feed the animals, feed ourselves, watch something on Netflix, go to bed, go back to work. Because, um, yeah, gaming is one thing. Like, just watching something on TV, I'll always have a monologue in the back of my head that I can't shut up. Like, oh, these bad boys are probably going to be too powerful. Oh, no. They're good. Oh. Yeah. Deal with him. Ah. I think an hour a day isn't too much or too little but um at the same time if I'm doing that I should probably be making sure I'm doing a bit of daily music but fuck planning shit just I should just also do what I feel like when I want to do it. Because if you plan it too much, then it's like, blah. There's one that I've got that's like in the works that I don't know whether I'm going to finish. And then, yeah, I jumped on the other day and I was going to start another one from scratch. But I need to make more. I don't know, I feel like too much planning kills it, but too little planning... I don't know, too little planning can also kill it, but can be really organic and beautiful, like... And I think if I let go of some of my perfectionism and just write and write and write, then I'll probably get way better songs happening, you know? It's just getting out of your brain, like, oh, is it good enough? literally what I was just saying about that other song that I'm like, oh, I've got one in the works I don't know if it's good enough <laughs> yeah I still got a bit of this forest left You're right. You're so right. And I know that too. It's like, it's always gonna... Whoa! It's always gonna eat at you, like, if you let it. 
Like, things aren't supposed to be perfect. It's fucking life. Oh, how the fuck am I gonna beat this dude? With 29 health. <laughs> Not like that. <laughs> Not like that, Leafy. Thank <laughs> you.